Hello, um, so for Math 110, um, I believe it is week 8, um, for section 2.6, you had to, for the problem presentation, you had to choose a, um, certain problem and try to solve it, and you're supposed to make a video, um, and I chose number 15. Um, so I looked back in the book, um, because it tells you to go back to example one. So I look back and it says, um, you know, it says a little bit about what you're supposed to do. So I'm going to show you my problem and I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can. So that's number 15. If you can see it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okay. So it shows in there, I'll bring the book up and sit down in a minute. Okay. Yeah, right there. Oh. So it shows there, there's a line. Um, there's a discontinuant, I believe, at three. So with that being um, discontinued, I read in the um, example one, um, it's a discontinuing point at x equals 3. Um, thus it continues over the intervals. So I'm thinking, I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not really sure how to solve this. I'm kind of thinking it's negative infinity and 3, and 3 and negative, uh, 3 and positive infinity. Um, don't really show, don't really know how you'd show work, but I know that if... It, it, it just continues on because I've shown um, in the graphing thing here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it well, but there's a point that's negative 1 and 4 that matched up in there. So I kind of put it in this, um, the geo, uh, G algebra, geo algebra, and, um, and I put the 3 and the 1. Uh, the point three and then one in there and tried to you know figure it out um but anyway that is my presentation um let me know what i need to add and i can add it and if you you know have any further advice about this that would be great to know because i'm not quite sure how to solve it if it's infinity type of problem uh, but that is my presentation Problem presentation um, for 2.6.